ever want to forget your client's birthday? Maybe you want to send them an email or a greeting card, or you might want to call them. Whatever the case, you certainly don't want to forget their special day. The birthday assistant can help. You can find the birthday assistant under settings. You have two choices in tracking your contact's birthday. You can track everyone's birthday or just a select group. If you just want to track a select group, first create a flag called birthday, like this. Then tell the birthday assistant to only look for contacts with that flag. You can actually use any flag, I just like to use a special birthday flag. Here is when you tell the system when you want the birthday assistant to run. And here is where you tell the system what to do. You can have the birthday assistant set a reminder for you, a to-do, in case you want to send out a greeting card or make that special call. Or you can have the birthday assistant automatically send an email. This would be an email that you've already set up in your email template library. Once you have everything set just the way you like it, click Save and you're done. Your birthday assistant is now on the job. Now for all my clients that have a birthday flag on their account, they will get a happy birthday email from me on their birthday. All done automatically by my birthday assistant. Video, I'm going to show you how to set up your birthday assistant. So the first uh, step you want to do is uh, create your email template. So right here in the Action Center, uh, you'll see email templates right here. We're going to click on email templates. And what you're going to do is you're going to go into this button right here where it says add email template. So right on this button, you're going to click it. And then you'll just kind of scroll down. There'll be some samples in here. Here's a uh, birthday balloons. Here's a birthday gift. Uh, let's just go ahead and start with this birthday gift. Even if you're not given a gift, I'll show you how to uh, remove this button. So you click on it. And then you can put uh, birthday assistant email. And then we're going to create and start editing right here. and it's going to load up the editor and so if you hover your mouse over these areas uh, these are uh, content blocks right here and so right here is happy birthday let's celebrate your special special day so um, if you click on this box it's going to open up the editor and you could actually change this so let's you, know, you can take the let's off there if you want to you could change the verbiage. All right, and then down here it says replace this text with your personal birthday wish. Put a few sentences and include a special offer if you would like. So um, you could right here, um, you could uh, do this merge tags. So this is called the WYSIWYG editor. What you see is what you get. And then uh, right here is merge tags. So if you click on that, and it'll say contact first name right here and if you click on it it's going to automatically insert the person's first name because remember the Dynamics Pro is going to be sending out the uh, this email template for you on their birthday so you don't have to think about it so you want whenever their birthday to pop up whatever's in their contact card as their first name this is what will pop up so so you put something like so first name May your birthday be the start of a year filled with good luck, good health, and much happiness. Of course, you, you put whatever you want in there. All right, and then so we'll go ahead and delete that. Then you'll notice it says if you do... If you do not want to make an offer, you may remove the button offer link below. Highlight the section and click the trash can to remove the button. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just delete this out of here. All right. So now what they're saying is highlight this like, like we did with this. Click on it. So once you click on it, it selects it. Now that you clicked on it, you'll notice that there's a little trash can right here. And all you have to do is click on the delete. And then there you go right there. So now you have your uh, your birthday uh, um, email set up, and you can, of course customize this any way you want. So we're going to go ahead and uh, click on Save Changes, 
and then done editing up here. So after you click on save changes, here's your done editing. And then right here you'll notice the name, um, the name of the template is called birthday assistant uh, email. And then the subject line is what they're going to see. So we'll just put um, happy birth, happy birthday. All right. So then, um, of course, you could attach files right here, but you're going to go ahead and click on save right here. So save. And then, so once you have this set up, um, now it's in an alphabetical order. So first it starts out with characters. And then here's the numbers, and then after the numbers, it goes in alphabetical. So birthday assistant email is right here. All right. So now all you have to do to set this up is go over here to settings. So up here on this blue menu bar at the top, go all the way over to the right, click on the settings wheel cog. Then what you want to do is you want to go scroll down to the bottom, and then you're going to find underneath automatic systems. You go one, two, three down to the birthday assistant, click on the birthday assistant. And then right here, uh, who should be included? Um, it should be defaulted to nobody, disable birthday assistant, run birthday assistant for all contacts, and run birthday assistant only with uh, for contacts with this flag. So you could create a flag and then only the contacts with that particular flag uh, would be sent the email but we want to run the birthday assistant for all contacts. So I'm going to click on for all contacts. All right. What should the birthday assistant do? On the day of their birthday, do the following. You could also choose one day before, but we're going to do on the day of their birthday, do the following. And we're going to add a birthday reminder to do because you may want to send out, um, if, if this, this would be like if you want the system to let you know to send out like a postcard or something that the system can't do. Um, so if you want to send out a postcard or uh, a gift card or something like that, you could put a little birthday reminder and then it'll show up in your to do's up here in the menu bar. And you could also choose automatically send contact and email template. Okay. So if you do that, this is where you select your birthday um, email template that you just created. So you click on this drop down and There it is right here, birthday assistant email. So this is the folder and then birthday assistant email. So it's in alphabetical order on this side. So I'm gonna click on that, click on save. Your changes have been saved. And now your birthday assistant will send out that email template on your contact's birthday automatically without you having to do it or remember.